Hey, Stancers, Anthony Rose. Got some cool East Coast swing for you guys today. We haven't Woo! done some East Coast swing for a while, so we got a cool it. pattern today called a bow tie and a neck roll. Really think you guys are going to love this one, so stick around. All right, guys, so we've done a few East Coast Swing videos on this channel, one of which you should totally watch. A link to that one's right here. That is going to cover the basics. But if you are brand new to this channel, welcome. Hi. We do all of the country dances. We do two-step, East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, Waltz, and all that stuff. But you can notice this little button down here, and it says subscribe. Now, if you click that button, then you become a next dancer, and you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens yes. here on the channel. So we're going to demonstrate the pattern, and then we're going to break it down. I can see. Guys, the awesome thing about this East Coast Swing pattern, even though it looks like a bunch of stuff is happening, we're just doing the basic steps that we taught in our basic steps videos. Okay, so you've got uh, basic step, you're turning to the right or you're turning to the left, and her steps and my step are essentially the same. We're just doing stuff different with our hands. Okay, right. now we're gonna walk you through this one at a time, talking about whether it's a right turn or left turn, and then we'll kind of break it down in a little bit more detail. So. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a rock step, but we're gonna lead her for a right turn. Now, if you've uh, watched the basics videos, anytime she turns to the right, she's gonna turn, start and finish it on the second triple. So watch this, so we have rock step, and then she has a triple step, which is prep. Prep, which means to prepare for the turn. There's no turning here, but she starts and finishes that right turn on that second triple step, and I'm gonna switch to that hand. Now we have the rock step. She's gonna do another right turn, which means what? She's gonna prep for the first triple, turn for the second. So she's prepping for the first. I'm taking that hand underneath. Now she's doing all of the turn in that one triple step to land in that bow tie. We're gonna do the rock step, but now she has a uh, left turn, which means she's gonna start and finish that turn in that first triple. So she starts and finishes, picking her up into closed position so we can triple step for that second triple step. Okay. All right guys, we're gonna interrupt your East Coast Swing for just a second, but now one thing that we're really excited about doing, this is a brand new thing that we've started doing, we want you to text us individually. If you guys are watching this video or anything that we do, and you guys have questions, you need help, or you just wanna say hi, you wanna tell us you hate us, whatever it is, <laughs> Now's your chance. you can text me directly to my phone at 281-248-8167. That number's right here, but it's 281-248-8167. Just text me, say hello, Anthony, whatever it is, and then we can actually talk. I want to help you guys on a much deeper level. So let's get back to the East Coast Swing. All right, guys, the thing you got to know is that everything is separate. And we talked about it again in our basics, but you have three sections of two beats of music. You have a rock step, which is two beats. You have the first triple step and you have the second triple step. What you've got to know is, is she turning to the right clockwise or to the left counterclockwise? Then you know when she turns. That's yeah. pretty much it, okay? Don't let them blend together. She's not gonna turn to the right on the first triple or turn to the left on the second triple, okay? So if we break this down one piece at a time, we start with that rock step. Now she's gonna be turning to the right, so she turns and win the second triple. We're gonna bring this hand up and we're gonna lead her to come out in front of us. So if you look at this alignment, she's not too far past me. I've turned a little bit. She has definitely come around me. But now she's gonna start and finish that turn and that second triple step. Now you notice what I've done is I've started circling my way around so that I can end up square with her. Now she's gonna end up turning to where she's facing this wall, okay, or this side. But I've gotta turn to face her and at the end of that, before the rock step, usually I do this before the rock step, I'm gonna switch to that handshake hold, okay? It's weird to change in the middle of the rock step so I usually do it right at the end of the triple. We're actually going to lead that rock step, just a little bit, it's not a big shove, but I'm actually leading that to create a little bit of space because the, the point of that is if I lead her this way, then I can easier, her, easier lead her that way, okay? You gotta come from somewhere to go to somewhere, yes. right? You can't just pull her forward and expect her to do that. But if you think of rubber band as stretching and then it comes back, so if I lead that rock step here, I'm leading her back, then that leading her forward into that direction makes a lot more sense, okay? Now I am taking my left hand underneath to grab her hand underneath, but I'm bringing this hand putting into that halo that we put above her head because I'm getting ready to turn her over. So if you watch that again, it's rock. I give her a little bit of, of leverage 
and then triple step. Now you notice I've actually turned back. This is the wall I started facing at. I've turned one quarter to my left, I've turned back one quarter, and I brought her out in front of me. Now, here's the thing. As she does this bow tie, and I'm gonna show you this close up in a second, I've got to pretty much stay in place because she's traveling and I've got to basically space that out to where she can actually land. If I need to, I can actually get closer to her, but I, I'm as a leader, it's my responsibility to make sure that I end up where I need to be in relation to where she's going to end up, okay? We're not gonna be able to say, hey, you went too far, because if she goes too far, leaders, it's your job to say, hey, I've gotta catch up to you. All right, guys, so we're gonna show you that transition for the bow tie. It's gonna go from this right over left position, then it's gonna to go to a sweetheart, and then it's gonna end up in the bow tie. It's gonna hit all of those um, markers along the way. So we've got right over left, and then along the way, you'll notice she goes into this sweetheart where both hands are at the same height, then the hands come up, and then they come back down at the same time. One thing you wanna really try to do is make sure the hands come up at the same time and they come down at the same time. You don't want one hand and the other. That is a common, common thing that we see all the time. So if you watch this all as one motion, we have a both hands go into the sweetheart, both hands come up, both hands come down. All right guys, we'll show you that from this angle. I've got right over left, both hands come up into the sweetheart, they continue to come up at the same time and they both come down at the same time. Once I get into this position, I can just basically drop both hands and go to the shoulder. So if we show you that again, and we're gonna have Rose this time travel a lot, I'll show you how I'm gonna adjust to that. So if she really starts moving in that direction, I might have to travel with her so that she doesn't get too far away. But if she doesn't travel much, sometimes you might even have to move the other way. The point is leaders is you're gonna put yourself where you need to be in relation to where you anticipate her going to be. Wow, that was a lot of words. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> so, you made it. But if she travels just a little bit, the point is, is where you end up, okay? So if she travels very little, I've got to place myself where I anticipate her going to be. One thing I can say from the, the followers point of view, uh, this is a huge mistake and you hear some dance teachers say this and just don't do this. If they say this, just ignore them when they say it. You are not going to turn in one spot. No. An East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, Two Step Hold, all these dances have a lot of spinning turning. You are not only rotating, but you're also in motion, which means you have a linear and a rotational motion at the same time. Just cover ground. If I'm leading her towards me and then she tries to turn around one spot, like like a figure skater or something, it's not gonna work as well because if I give her momentum and I send her in that direction, she has three weight changes and each one of them is progressive in that direction. So I've given her the momentum and each step is still moving and that's gonna keep her a heck of a lot more balanced. Yes, definitely. And I did wanna say something, when we're in this position right before the turn, so we go ahead and do the rock step, rock step for the leader. Make sure that you're creating compression with this mm -hmm. hand here, that's really important. Because sometimes leaders don't give that, it's just kind of loose and wimpy. And then it's like a whole new, so you created that momentum and then you kind of let it go. So make sure you get that compression because when you send the turn, that's gonna be much more smooth. All right guys, so if we walk through this again, it is rock step. She's prepping for the first triple with no turn. The hand is in the halo above her head. She's gonna do that turn that is basically half a turn for her and one quarter for me, bringing the hand down at the end of that triple and switching the hand. Now we lead her for the rock step. I give her that compression for triple step. I've turned back a quarter and then we do that fancy bow tie. I'm gonna stay in place unless she travels a lot and I bring that hand down. Okay, so from here, when this hand lands down, I need to switch this hand to her shoulder for the rock step and I can release this hand. Now I'm gonna stay in place. Guys, you have to lift the elbow here, Please. okay? You don't want to beat her in the back of the head with it. I mean, even if she's misbehaved, you don't want to do what? that, okay? So after we do the rock step, we're gonna lift that elbow up so that she can fit underneath and then we'll triple step at the end, okay? So one thing that you'll notice with that is that I actually don't lose contact with her. So when I get into that position, that bow tie, my hand is on her upper shoulder and it's gonna basically stay in contact with her the entire time until it lands onto her back for that basic. All right guys, once we've gotten this bow tie, we can basically just let go of the hands. We've got our hand on her shoulder, okay? Now one thing we gotta keep in mind here, she's gonna take her chin to her chest, not... Tits to toes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Remember if, that. If she says that, okay? She's only gonna lower her head long, uh, just far enough, but she's not going to lower her body. That is definitely going to throw her off balance, okay? So I've got my hand on here. Now you'll notice as, that, as she turns through, I've created a window with my elbow 
and I'm never gonna lose contact with her on this side. So we do that rock step. I'm gonna raise the elbow, turning her with that shoulder, and then she's gonna roll into that hand, okay? So if we show you that from this side, we've gotten here. Now, if uh, you notice, I've got my hand in that position. She's gonna roll in, but I'm not going to lose contact with her. I'm just gonna raise the elbow so that I roll to her back. All right, guys, so here's the secret formula of this pattern. You have a right turn, followed by a right turn, followed by a left turn. Now, the thing we know is anytime she turns to the right, which is the first two turns, she turns on, starts and finishes on the second triple. When she turns to the left, it's on the first. So if you watch this again, it's rock step. She has a right turn, so she preps for one, she turns for two, rocks for three. Now, right turn, so prep for one, turn for two, rock for three. Left turn, so it's turn for one, triple for two, rock for three. The thing I'm definitely gonna recommend here is like, so people try to dance this and they put on music and they just go. Don't do that, like go through the pieces. Yeah. Get comfortable with the neck roll, get comfortable with the bow tie without even considering the feet. So you like you do the feet and the arms separately and then you put them together yeah. and you will hurt each other much, much less, okay? Cool. So we'll show you this one more time through. This is gonna be rock, step, triple, turn, rock prep turn rock turn triple rock okay so we want to know what you guys think about this pattern do you like yeah. it did you enjoy it like do you have any problems with it we gave you guys my phone number earlier like you can actually text me and ask me some questions really, we're close but we want to know we really want to help you guys we also want to know what you guys would like to see more of here on the channel so know. thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time All right, guys, we're gonna show you that, um, we're gonna show you how to get it. Blah. I'm a professional. So I'm saying things to it, and you're nodding your head. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, the awesome thing about these East Coast swing pattern is if you know that the... You got that? Great. All right, guys, the video is over. You should already know how to do all this stuff. But Woo. if you do have other questions, text me, 281-248-8167. That'll go directly to my phone. Now, if you like to watch more videos on our channel, those are here. And again, we'll see you guys next time.